back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm starting my video off a little bit differently. I'm doing it as a vlog style because I have just filmed my entire makeup collection and storage. As you can see, I'm sat at my dressing table here um, and I have Starbucks because I'm surviving on one hour sleep today. So it's very necessary, love that for me. But yeah, if you are interested in seeing my entire makeup collection, how I store everything, how my like beauty section of my room is set up, then please keep watching. Um, before we get into the video, don't forget that I'm currently running a giveaway for you guys to win a Juvia's Place palette of your choice. All you have to do is click the Gleam link in the description box down below. It will automatically enter you. And yeah, uh, let's get on into the video. So these brush holders are actually tea light holders and I got them from Matalan and I think they're beautiful. Obviously they're glass so you have to be really really careful with them but I just think they go so well with my dressing table. And then I'm going to try not to get in the shot of this mirror but this um, light up mirror was from Boots and you just kind of like tap the on switch and it's one of those ones that magnifies. Then got this mirror which is from Niches, I will leave the website down below, they do all different ones. This one was £169 so it's not the cheapest mirror ever but it is beautiful, I love how bright the lights are and this is just so gorgeous. And then here we've just got a space for cotton buds or q-tips, whatever you call them. We've got this little like um, cotton pad dispenser which is perfect for taking like eye makeup off and then we've got another little tea light holder here for more of our like face and powder brushes and then we just got my little box of tissues there as well so that's that section then on my chair i've just got this like cream fluffy cushion that i stick on there for like decoration and i've got this this was actually like a cream rug but i've just stuck this on the back and i think it looks so cute this is what it looks like on the inside. So we have got like a bunch of Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, a bunch of like lip products, so, like this Glissex one, a Lush lip scrub. We got the Too Faced lip balm and lip scrub. We got some fresh beauty blenders, which how satisfying are those? Um, I've obviously got like my tweezers and my scissors and I've got makeup wipes. These are the Primark H2O wipes, which are so good. And I've also got these Primark It's Oil Good ones. And the OG, of course, Nivea White. And I think, I can't remember, I think these dividers were from Ikea. But I will find out for you guys, if I can. But yeah, love this drawer. And then in this drawer, we've just kind of got like hair products. We've got, this was actually sent to me from a brand with a hair mask, with a face mask they sent me. But it's just kind of push your hair out of your face. We've got a couple of like animal print ones. We got some scrunchies, a whole bunch of blonde hair ties, hair clips, and these little like invisible bubble ones. And we then just got like a tangle teaser, which looks really gross because it's got my hair in it, but it's for wet hair. And another tangle teaser here. So up here we have my lipstick holder. This was actually in my last makeup collection. Um, so here we've got a bunch of NYX soft matte lip creams. I absolutely love NYX lip products. They are like hands down some of the best lip products I've ever had. Here I've got a Tom Ford lipstick. This is like bougie as hell. This packaging, I absolutely love it. So this is my liquid lipstick drawer. It looks like a hot mess, but I'm kind of living for it because it's absolutely full. So in here I've got a couple of lip glosses that were sent to me by a brand. I will leave a discount code down below. And I've got a bunch of these liquid lipsticks that I was sent by a brand called Lucky Fine. They are so beautiful. Love them. And then the Too Faced Peach liquid lipstick. This one smells and tastes amazing. I've got the NYX Suede Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cold Brew. And this is literally the brownest thing you will ever see. So this is like my eyelash drawer. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of different eyelashes from different brands. Most of them are GWA. These are my favourite ever GWA lashes. They are the Luxury Faux Mink ones. How cute is this packaging? But yeah, I love these. I always get these in savers and they're really cheap. And then we just got some Eyelash ones, some other GWA ones. These ones you can get in Primark. Um, some more Primark lashes. Yeah, just like a bunch of eyelashes in here. And then here we've got all the different mascaras. So Maybelline Lash Sensational is my current fave. 
and then I've just got like a mini Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I also really, really love this one, but uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational is cheaper, so. I've got some other mascaras that I tried out in videos before, like the W7 Flirty Eyes one. This Dior one, which to be fair, is probably really out of date, so I should probably throw that one away. Here is the Precisely My Brow. I use it in shade 2. I've then got the Eyebrow Setting Gel, which I love. I love a lot of Benefit products for eyebrows. This Miss Sporty Liner is one of my favourite things ever, but I feel like it's been discontinued. And then I've just got a bunch of NYX eyeliner pencils, like the jumbo ones. I haven't used these in ages, but love then them. In this drawer, we've got like all the pigments and glitters. So we've got a Violet Voss glitter here. We've got this turquoise festival face one. Um, I've got this little glitter that I picked up, uh, I think it was in Beautycon, like in 2017. I've got a Primark liquid glitter eye shadow thing. Some Barry M glitters. I've got some Primark pigments. I've got some NYX glitters, which I absolutely love NYX glitters. I have these that one of my friends um, who also does YouTube recommended me to get from eBay. And they're actually so good. Here I have got the Gypsy Shrine All-in-One Face Jewels. I think I actually got these free in Superdrug before, but I'm kind of saving them in case I go to like a festival or something this year. But they are super cute. In here I've got a bunch of little NYX eyeshadows that came in my NYX advent calendar. This is the, which is this really pretty like brown, bronzy shade. And then here we've got some eye primers. To be fair, I usually just use concealer on my eyes, but I've got the OG Urban Decay Primer Potion, the Too Faced one. I've then got the Revolution Glitter Glue. But my favourite ever glitter glue is the NYX Glitter Primer. Honestly, 10 out of 10, I recommend. And then in here, I've got this Primark Glitter Obsessed Eyeshadow Palette. I used this in a full face of Primark makeup not so long ago. I'll leave that link down below. But this is super impressive. And oh, I've taken the price off. But I feel like it was only about £4. But love that. So we then come on to this drawer, which is the first eyeshadow palette drawer. And as you can see, I try and like put my eyeshadows in a category of their brand. So this is like my Urban Decay drawer. So we've got the uh, Smoky palette, the Naked Heat. We've got the Beached palette. This is beautiful. I haven't actually used this that much. First of all, look at this packaging though. I'm living. And just look how beautiful these shades are living for this blue thank you very much but yeah there's that one i've got the born to run palette as well which this packaging is just beautiful and inside you're gonna die if you haven't seen this before as you can see she's like a little bit beat but that's fine because it shows that we love her but i'm absolutely living for these like purpley pink shades and yeah she needs a really good clean but there's that one and we've got like the moon dust palette here We've got the Naked Basics, we've got the Vice palette underneath here. And yeah, like the original, oh my god, the original um, Naked palette. So yeah. Then this drawer is kind of a bit of everything. So we've got a Morphe palette in here. This is the 3502. Let me open it up for you guys. This has just got like the most amazing warm shades in here. For once, I've actually managed to keep the plastic insert as well. But like, look at those oranges. We have this other Morphe palette down here. It just looks like this. We've got lots of kind of like purpley colours, earthy tones. We love. We've got a couple of the Jordan Lipscomb and Beauty Bay palettes. I say a couple. We've got all of them in here. This is Fuego. Which looks like this. And again, I managed to keep the insert. Love that. I absolutely love the gold dust highlight. That's incredible. There's Jordan's palette number one and have onyx which I think this palette is incredible so you've got like the yellow and all the kind of smoky eye shades and again two highlighters and then we have the trooper palette this is the only one that I managed to keep the original sleeve for have this it's got lots of like car keys and browns and just like really pretty colors so Ooh. then just got the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette I feel like everyone has seen this to show you there and then a couple of other ones then we come on to this drawer so we've got a lot of Too Faced palettes in here so we have the gingerbread spice this is my most recent um Too Faced palette how cute does this packaging look by the way i'm really sorry about my pale hands it's really bothering me um hello 
literally how beautiful that pink and that orange. I'm living, breathing, dying and resurrecting for it. We love. The peach palette. I feel like back in 2016, this was all I used for about a solid six months. It smells amazing. It looks cute. And then she's, she's well loved. You can see, um, especially the white peach shade up the top. Peaches and cream, caramelized. And then what one's this? Bellini. I used to love doing a like halo eye with that throwback. I really want to use this again. But yeah, that's beautiful. We've got the chocolate palette also from Too Faced. She just looks like this, lots of browns. Love Violet Voss palette. So this is the Violet Voss Pro palette in hashtag, which looks incredible. And again, I feel like you guys know by now, all my palettes are dirty, but it's because they are well loved. And then this has to be up there with one of my top like three favorite eyeshadow palettes. It's the Violet Voss Pro palette. And this is like my go-to for night out looks. Absolutely incredible. I then got the Primark Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette. This is eight pounds and it's like a really nice kind of drugstore or like high street alternative. We have the Huda palette, which looks insane. As you can see that Cosmo glitter down there, we are living. And we've then just got another Huda palette here as well. We've got the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. Which looks like this, those shimmers, especially that pink one down the bottom. And I've also got this one, which was recently in a makeup haul, which I got this one for Christmas. But it just looks like this. We've got the Huda Warm Brown Obsessions palette, which I absolutely I use this. I think I'm allergic to it because my eyes literally always burn. But you know what? It's beautiful, so we're going to keep using it. <laughs> um, but how cute is that? Love. And then we've got some of the Anastasia ones as well, like Modern Renaissance. I love the packaging, but it gets so dirty. Just got there. And then we've got the other two, such a soft glam. And the Subculture palette. And then in this drawer, we have got the Be Perfect Carnival palette, which, again, this is slightly new to my collection. I'm obsessed. I would definitely recommend this to anyone that had their eyes on it. Look how colourful this is. We've got the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, which this is just the most extra packaging ever, and I'm really just here for it. This is everything. This is what the inside looks like. How beautiful. This is, again, fairly new. I got this one for Christmas, so I haven't actually played around with it. Sorry. There's a shade called Prick. I honestly stand Jeffree so hard, but yeah, I'm very excited to play around with this. We've then got a couple of loose Anastasia shadows. We've got the NYX Perfect Filter Palette, which I absolutely love this. The orange in here is to die for. We've got the NYX uh, Wicked Dreams, which I'm not going to lie, this is so old. I never use this one, but I kind of feel like one day I might use that blue. It's like one of my favourite makeup palettes of the whole of 2018, and I would really recommend it. I think it's about £36. But look at the different colour choices on here. Loving the kind of yellows so much. So yeah, there's that one. A couple of loose eyeshadows. They're in this Bleach London eyeshadow palette. But these are actually from Aloha Glitz. I will leave a link to their Instagram down below. Because the girls that run Aloha Glitz are so lovely. And these shadows, where they're like pressed kind of glitters and stuff. They are all handmade. And they are so gorgeous. And Liv actually really kindly sent me these. How gorgeous is this copper? Like, oh, I am dying. I then have this throwback. This is the Storybook Cosmetics Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette. Here you've got the golden ticket. And then you've got all these beautiful shades. That teal blue. Thank you. We love you. We've then just got some of the Makeup Revolution palettes. We've got, like, the chocolate orange one here. This is what the purple one looks like. How gorgeous is that shade called Desired in the left bottom hand corner? We love. And then I've got two from Zoeva. We've got the Cocoa Blends and the Caramel Melange. These are two of my favourite ever palettes. I cannot rate these highly enough. And then we've just got like the Sof Does Nails palette down there. A couple more drugstore ones like MUA ones. We've also got another Primark one here. In the bottom drawer, we just got some kind of like spare makeup bags. Got a little Love Island one here, some Zoeva ones. So yeah, we're not really gonna go into that because it's kind of boring. And then this is the other side of my Alex 9 drawers. 
So here we've got the pink peony scented candle, also from Primark. This is the Yankee Candle, a calm and quiet place. It smells incredible. I've just got these artificial flowers. I think I got these a few years ago from like Ikea or somewhere, but love that. And then this glass kind of like, I don't know what you call it, but what I've placed the candles on. This was also from, I think these were from Matalan. I have a lot of face products. So we've got lots of highlights and primers and stuff in here. So we've got the Primark Strobing Cream, the Iconic London Illuminator, which is like my favourite thing ever. We've got the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid, the Anastasia and Amri, the um, Collab. So it looks like that, how beautiful. I've then just got like a model's own highlight, which I absolutely love. I've got a couple of NYX highlighters, which I got in the advent calendar. This is the Land of Lollies Hop Blush. So it's not even a highlighter. This one's a blush. Look how pink that is. I think with the Zoeva Basic Moment Blush and Highlight Palette, this really pretty blush at the top, this golden highlight, and then this bronze at the bottom, or contour, whatever you want to use it for, but love this. We've got the Peach Glow from Too Faced, which as you can see, this is very well loved. I love this shade here. I've also got the Soap Does Nails collab with Revolution, their highlight palette. Absolutely love this one, obviously because it's Revolution, it's quite affordable. I've got the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero, don't know if I'm saying that right, highlight palette. I haven't used this in ages, but this is stunning. And then in the back I've also got like an e.l.f. and a Primark highlighter palette as well. And then in this one we've got setting sprays and foundations. This is my current favourite foundation, it's the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hours. I get mine in the shade 21 Nude Beige. And as you can see I've got a few here. I also absolutely love the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I used nothing but this for like a whole year and a half. This is just like absolutely amazing for kind of dry skin. We've got the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which is also incredible. We've got the Primark My Perfect Colour foundation in the shade Nude Beige. So here we have the Fenty Beauty Primer. This is absolutely incredible. It's one of my favourite ever primers that I have used. A couple of MAC Fix Plus sprays. Um, some of the Urban Decay like All Nighter setting sprays. Some Makeup Revolution sprays. And this Primark primer water and then here we come into like contour and bronze so my absolute favorite bronzer since about april 2018 is the mac give me sun it looks like this as you can see i have really hit pan i absolutely love it i use this on a daily basis and have done every single day this year well and in 2018 of course but yeah absolutely love this one couldn't recommend it enough i've got three mini two faced bronzers they're like the chocolate soleil ones also you've got a Benefit Hula, this is such a classic in everyone's makeup collection. This, so again, I have hit pan on that one. Huge bronzer from Sunkist, and it says it's a matte bronzer infused with, min infused with minerals. And this one is huge. I've then got the Chanel, I think it's, I don't have to say this, the Soleil Tan. <laughs> you, know, you know the one, I feel like everyone loved this in 2013 on beauty YouTube, and I was just desperate to have it. But yeah, I really like this one. I've then got some concealers. So I've got the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me, my absolute OG, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. We've got a MAC Pro Longwear. We've got a really old NARS concealer, so that probably needs to go in the bin, not gonna lie. We've got the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser one. And this LA Girl Pro Concealer. We've then got more of the LA Girl Pro Concealer, but in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I use this for contour. You can get like a pack of three, I think, on Amazon, which is just incredible. And yeah, this is the only thing that I use for my liquid contour or cream contour, whatever you want to call it. And I also have the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C17 for contour as well. And then I've got the Jude the Fula liquid bronzer anastasia contour kit in light to medium i haven't used this in ages but as you can see this is also very well loved and then i've got a bunch of setting powders so the Too faced born this way setting powder the revolution luxury banana powder laura mercier 
the RCMA No Color Powder, which is just my favorite thing. Then in here, we've got like moisturizing kind of products. So we've got the Dove Derma Spa Summer Revived Tinted Moisturizer. Sometimes to kind of like keep my tan looking fresh, I will put this on the top. I've got this Coco Brown Rose Gold Goddess kind of glittery, shimmering, dry body oil. This is great for putting on your legs after you've tanned when you're going on a night out. Love that. I have the Almond Milk and Honey Body Moisturizer. This is my favorite thing to use, especially before applying tan. I just love the scent of it. And then I've also got this Bath & Body Works Whipped Vanilla Spice Body Spray. Then in here, we've got some skincare. So we've got the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. We've got the La Roche-Posay Zinc Facebook Spray. Facebook? <laughs> I mean face. Um, the Pixi Glow Tonic Glycolic Acid Toner. And then the Body Shop tea tree skin cleansing foam thing in here we have more skincare and it's kind of like a hot mess but we love it so i've got the tarte drink of h2o moisturizer i've got a bunch of garnier makeup removers. then we've got more kind of like face masks so we've got the l'oreal smooth sugars nourishing scrub i absolutely love this it smells of chocolate and it just makes my face feel amazing i've also got these mini l'oreal masks which just kind of look like this. They're like charcoal purifying masks. I've got a couple from the body shop. I've got some masks from Germany, which I picked up in a German drugstore and I haven't used yet. I've got this from the brand, I have no idea how to say it. I think it's like Bioveen, Bioveen. And it is the pink peel off mask. I've already used one, they sent me two and I absolutely love it. And then coming on to the last drawer, we've got hair products. So I've got the main and tail hair strengthener spray that you put in wet hair or damp hair love this this rose gold batiste dry shampoo which is a lifesaver and then i've just got my like heat protectant spray which is the lee stafford argan oil one and we've got some more like lee stafford products here mm -hmm.